my name is John Belkowitz. I work here at Intelligent Concrete. We're doing Q&A. What day? Where we are addressing some of the questions that our subscribers have left for us. Um, on YouTube, we got a question from Elias about a day ago. Dang! And that question turned into two questions. So I wanted to address those questions. It was about one of our videos on translucent concrete, which we'll include in the section below. Now, before I go into this, don't forget to like and subscribe, but most importantly, let us know your concrete questions and concerns. Okay, so Elias's question. This was about the translucent uh, concrete. Very interesting, but is there a way to maximize light transmission? And is it possible to use glass shards such as broken beer bottles? Um, so my, my reply to that was, um, is there a way to maximize light transmission? And Elias, you know, one of the most important parts when it comes to making a translucent concrete is that for the most part you need that, that glass or that plastic element, fiber, whatever you want to call it, to go from one side of the concrete to the next. If at any point that that light transmission element is cut off or is encapsulated by concrete, you're not going to have that light transmission. That's the biggest problem with um, uh, powdered glass powders or, or broken glass shards from beer bottles is that they're going to be encapsulated with concrete. Now, that being said, by using, I used to use glass beads, uh, hardened glass beads, um, got from China. Uh, they're anywhere from you know 0.04 millimeters in diameter up to 0.3 millimeters in diameter, and they made the concrete surface look cool, especially when we use the nice muriatic acid to pull that paste off the top surface and expose it. But again, it didn't allow the transmission of light. It allowed the reflection of light, which was pretty cool too. But you know, to get a better transmission of light through your concrete you'd probably want to use a higher end version of these optical fibers. And I, you know, I was looking through my LinkedIn account uh, yesterday trying to find, somebody had sent us a, uh, it looked like a TV panel. It was around, you know, 55 inches from corner to corner. And it was, they had a movie playing through it. And they just had some higher end um, optical fibers um, they had a, a very dense application of them, and there was a lot of them, and it was a really, really big panel. And with that, they had a great transmission of light. You could see the image as it changed through the concrete. And basically, that's all we're doing is replacing the aggregate for this optical fiber, and it's the grade of optical fiber and the amount, and how well your mix design holds it in solution, that's really going to dictate your, your light transmission capabilities. Okay. So the next question, Elias, if glass shards are used, um, how can I ensure that the light's transmission will be continuous? Is it better to use glass powder? Again, you know, to, to piggyback on that, the glass shards and the glass powder, because they're not continuous, uh, or, or I mean, I guess maybe if you had some type of LED light source in the concrete and had a very thin um, shell that had those, those glass shards in there, uh, but glass powder, I, I just don't see that giving you that light transmission. So I, hopefully I answered your question. Uh, let me know if you got any more. Go concrete. Beat asphalt.